Hello, and welcome to Inference for Numerical Data. My name is Mina Chetinkara Rendell, and in this course you will learn concepts that are essential for conducting inference on numerical data and the associated R code for doing so. We'll begin with using bootstrapping techniques to conduct inference on a single parameter of a numerical distribution. Let's get to it. On a given day, 21 bedroom apartments were randomly selected on Craigslist Manhattan from apartments listed as by owner as opposed to by a rental agency. First, let's take a look at the distribution of these rents. The distribution is unimodal and right skewed. Then, is the mean or the median a better measure of typical rent in Manhattan? Since the distribution is right skewed, median is a better measure of typical rent. Assuming that this sample is representative of the population of all one-bedroom apartments in Manhattan, which is a bit unlikely since these data come from only one classifieds website, we can use bootstrapping techniques to estimate the median rental price of one-bedrooms in Manhattan. Remember that the term bootstrapping comes from the phrase pulling oneself up by one's bootstraps, which is a metaphor for accomplishing an impossible task without any outside help. In this case, the impossible task is estimating the population parameter using data from only the given sample. Note that this is what statistical inference is all about. We have a sample, and we use that sample to make inferences about the unknown population. Here's our original sample of 20 apartments and their rents. The sample median is $2,350. Using this sample, we want to estimate the population median, and we will do so via bootstrapping. Remember, in bootstrapping, we take random samples from the original sample with replacement. We sample with replacement because we believe that for every observation in the sample, there are more like it in the population. So we can think of our bootstrap population as a population where each observation from the sample appears many times. And then we take many samples from this population to understand what medians of samples from the original population would look like if, in fact, we had the resources to take many samples from the population. How does this work in practice? We first take a bootstrap sample, a random sample taken with replacement from the original sample, and of the same size as the original sample. Then we calculate the bootstrap statistic for this sample. Remember, in this example, we're interested in the median, but we could use the same scheme for a mean, a proportion, a standard deviation, a slope, etc. We repeat steps 1 and 2 many times to create the bootstrap distribution. This is a distribution of bootstrap statistics. This is actually just like creating the sampling distribution, but there's one big difference. In bootstrapping, we are taking samples from the original sample instead of from the population. Next, let's discuss implementing bootstrapping in R using the infer package. We can construct the bootstrap distribution in one pipe. We start with our data frame and first specify the variable of interest, which is, in this case, the rent. Then we generate the bootstrap samples, many, many of them. And finally, we calculate the statistic in each one of these samples, which in this case is the median. The result is the bootstrap distribution. And using this distribution, we determine the bounds of the confidence interval. Now let's put what you've learned so far. 